Now we're gonna get into the rose sounds I like. And I developed this patch uh, a little while ago and it was to match Stevie Wonder's I Wish Roads. This is the straight up funkiest Hello? footage on earth. And we started the first track with the keyboards. Utter insanity. More proof that mixing doesn't matter. Just let this... Yeah, it's insane how good that sounds. But we go to the original stem from the track, which you can find through various shady characters. Insanely bright and it's spinning. So I brought up a road sound. I'm gonna go ahead and play Stevie Wonder's part and then we're gonna try to match the tone and then I'll be able to use this sound forever and ever and ever. Okay. sloppy but it's gonna do the trick for now um what roads am i using you ask what fake roads am i using why of course i'm using the scarby classic eps 88 this thing is insane the second i got this i thought wow this is like those pristine roads from the 70s and 80s they, but they don't even exist anymore where people were tricking them out there were guys in the San Fernando Valley tricking out roses with special preamps. So Scarby really knocked it out of the park on this. I think it might have been George Duke's personal roads. So you're already super close with this, this MIDI roads. Okay. Let's see what we got here between me and Stevie. Let's see if we can get close. So when I listen to mine... <laughs> And then I listen to Stevie. I hear so a uh, huge EQ difference, and I hear way more attack in Stevie's. So on mine, we're going to bring up this Pro Q3, which I match I matched EQ'd to Stevie's, and we're just going to turn that on. That's going to give us a ton of high end and a low end boost. <laughs> Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're gonna create that attack in Wolf Compressor under the aptly named Lots of Attack preset. That's what I should have been using. Whenever someone's like 1176 for attack, just bring up the Lots of Attack Wolf Compressor preset and futz around with the mix knob until you, you like how it sounds. I'm hearing way too much low end in, in the road. So we take this tilt shift EQ and we're going to bring out a ton of high end. Tilt shift is so brilliant, this Good Hertz plugin, where it's an EQ that just goes like that. So everything else is like notching this out. This is a blue, so less low end, more high end. Less low. And then it's got these great filters at the bottom where you can low pass Sorry, high pass. And now we're gonna get really close. Okay, we're getting close. Oh boy, we're getting close. Now we just need that little crunch that I'm hearing on Stevie's roads. So we're gonna bring up Good Hertz Toop. We're gonna bring up Good Hertz Toop, which is a tape and tube uh, simulator. And we're gonna turn on that crunch. Let's see how our crunch sounds. So we're driving it. Maybe I'm driving it too hard. Oh, I don't think so. 
All right, and then we're going to bring up a EQ. Let's see what our EQ. We're cranking high end on the EQ, cranking that in the active mode. <laughs> turn the tube down a little bit. This is exciting. This is my best work in the tutorial. And then finally our match EQ. One last match EQ to take us home, baby. Take us home. Take us home, baby. That's me. That's Stevie. That's me. And boom, I got my channel strip saved right here. I wish roads. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you... This is so exciting. This is so exciting for all. All involved, all involved are excited about this. You can practice with Stevie Wonder's road sound. Mixed, mixed and mastered by, um, gosh, who are those brilliant? Tonto, what were their names? Uh, Bob and Malcolm, Bob and Malcolm, the producers, that trifecta with Stevie created those phenomenal records, so. Uh, shout out to Bob and Malcolm and Stevie Wonder.